Hi guys, welcome back to another episode where we repurpose yeah, Hari Raya dishes into something that's brand new, exciting and delicious. Now, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a common Hari Raya dish which is ayam perche, something that's also very, very traditional and turn it, jazz it up into something that's quite modern, trending and young. So we have here our ayam perche. I know this is selling everywhere like hot cakes during Hari Raya. Oh my god, the smell itself is wonderful. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to be removing yeah, the flesh from the bones. Gloves are on and now we're going to start going to work. Okay? You want to sort of get nice chunks out and not mess it up too much. Yeah, nice big chunks. Oh, this part's going to be delicious with the skin and all. Mm. And I've got a little bit of sauce at the bottom of this ayam perche. Yeah, so I'm just going to drop these chicken pieces back into that sauce so they absorb a lot more flavour inside. Now that we've done separating the flesh from the bones, yeah, I'm going to heat up a pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to warm this up. Okay, so everything goes into the pan, including whatever juices there is or sauces there is from the leftover. I'm just going to keep this on a low heat and I'm going to start preparing some other condiments. So I have here a cucumber, cut up the ends. I've sliced it in half. We're going to quarter them because that way we can remove the seeds. Yeah, I'm going to be making somewhat like a raita with yogurt so to give this dish a nice uh, dimension of freshness. And now what we're going to do, just dice. There we go. And in this bowl, I have a little bit of Greek yogurt. The reason why I'm using Greek yogurt is because I like a yogurt that's sort of thicker and also richer in flavor. Cucumber goes in. Fantastic. I have half an onion. Just going to peel out. Same thing. Dice. Nice. This goes in the bowl as well. For a little bit of color, I'm going to be adding in some red chilies. Slice this in half. Get rid of the seeds. Cut them lengthwise because we're going to be dicing these red chilies. Boom, into the bowl as well. Now, I'm going to season this with a little bit of sugar to balance out the acidity in the yogurt and some salt. Give it a good mix. Now, this really depends on how um, sour or you know the kind of flavor that you want in your sort of cucumber right up. If you like a little bit more sour, you can add a nice squirt of lemon juice, yeah, or lime juice for that matter. Okay, this is ready to go. Set this aside. Now let's check on the chicken. Nice, so what we want to do, aside from heating up the chicken, yeah, is to have this sort of nice crust on, of searing, yeah, through this process, so that we get this nice texture from the chicken as well. I've just realized I haven't actually disclosed this dish to you yet. Uh, we're actually making ayam perche taco. This is what I mean by taking something traditional and turning it into something young and modern trendy. All right, nice. So this is what I mean by getting this nice sort of charred bits on the chicken will deliver not just in terms of texture but also flavor. What we're doing here is we're concentrating the flavors of ayam perche into individual pieces of chicken. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Right, I have here, this is a regular white corn tortilla. Get two pieces of this soft taco, sort of just dap it inside this chicken. There we go. That way the taco is going to absorb all that flavor. You can see now it's got a little bit of the oil from the chicken onto a hot pan. All right, so here I've prepared sort of like a garnish uh, for our taco. But this garnish is more than just a garnish. Yeah, it has actually a lot of flavor. In here, I've combined together ulam raja. Yeah, I've combined together mint leaf, bunga kantan, and sliced onions. Yeah, so I want 
it to be more than just a garnish, but also help contribute in terms of flavor. Ulam Raja is nice, bold, mint leaf. You've got that nice freshness. Yep. Bunga Kantan, very, very tiny strips, but that delivers so much of punch of flavor. Yeah, and onions, so that you get this nice sort of punchy um, spiciness in the garnish. Let's get it out. Ooh, hot, hot. Now, what we're gonna do is just take this yogurt here with cucumber, drop it down. There we go, nice. This is sort of like the guacamole yeah, in your taco. There we go. Now, I love using your chopsticks, but uh, it's all up to you. Get some of this nice chicken pieces on. Ooh, this is gonna be so delicious. Too much skin for one portion. Let's ration the skin, shall we? Nice, load it up with chicken bits. And then, yeah, you can add a little bit more in between the chicken pieces and our little garnish. Make sure you incorporate that ulam raja in. We go nice, a uh, couple of mint leaves inside. That's gonna give a lot of flavor, a lot of freshness to this taco. Some of the onions in as well, together with the bunga kantan. So when you bite into it, it's full, compact, full and packed with flavor. Now, this is just one idea of using, um, turning ayam perche into a nice taco. Yeah, because, you know, tacos are trending at the moment. But at the same time, um, you can turn this into a nice sandwich, um, toasted cheese sandwich with ayam perche inside. Imagine that. Oh my goodness, the flavors inside. It's gonna be heavenly. Yeah. If you can't get taco shells, please turn this into a wrap, into a burrito. You know, you can get those wraps uh, almost anywhere these days and sort of pack everything into a wrap, roll it out. Then what you do is you toast it on a pan after you've wrapped everything together and oh my God, that would be heavenly as well. So ladies and gentlemen, this is done. All right, now for a little taste test of this beautiful taco. Mm. This is something that really turned out to be much better than I expected. I mean, I knew it was gonna be good, but damn, this good. Mm. The flavors in this are so well balanced. You know, you know how Ambridge is spicy, it's rich, and then you take that apart and you reintroduce all those flavors into little chicken, small chicken pieces and concentrate all those flavors. It becomes a whole new dimension of Ambridge. And then you have that nice sort of yogurt, cucumber, onions, chilies at the bottom that sort of just cools down that richness from the ayam perche and you have this little hint of flavor from the ulam right at the top yeah you bite into it you're tasting the chicken you're sort of getting that coolness from the yogurt and then once you're halfway through chewing everything you get this nice hints of bunga kantan in the ginger scotch flour the ulam raja and that nice sort of pungent flavor of the onions absolutely fantastic. Um, it's something that you guys can try to make at home uh, when you're entertaining a couple of friends with leftovers. Again, guys, repurposing leftovers. I am Purche, turning it into this amazing taco. Guys, just so you know, I get my groceries delivered right to my doorstep with Happy Fresh. So click the link down below in my description, download the app, and get your first order incentives today. I mean, they deliver right to your doorsteps. You can focus on being home, taking care of stuff to do at home, and delivery of groceries just comes knocking at your door. If you've enjoyed this video, you think it's add value to you, please do click the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate the support and not forgetting that little bell notification on the side so you get an update whenever I've got a new video out for you guys. Take care guys and stay safe.